Hi, I'm Sam from EVs Enhanced and today I'll be running you through a common transmission fault found within the Nissan ENV200 vans. Here we have an example that's currently experiencing this fault. There's two ways this can occur, either the vehicle will be stuck in park or it's unable to be put into park. This is due to a failure within the shifter cable assembly which operates the parking pin in the transmission. An error message is also displayed on the instrument cluster reading TM malfunction. A simple test of this fault can be done by having one person in the cabin moving the gear selector while another observes the park pin linkage under the bonnet. With a failed cable bush, the park pin linkage will no longer move in conjunction with the gear selector. We can further confirm this error by checking the DTC fault codes using Leaf Spy Pro. Here you can see codes P0706 and U1561 caused by this fault. We have known of this issue for some time now and in the middle of 2019 Nissan Japan issued a recall notice on ENV 200s produced between 2014 and 2017 confirming this as a recognised fault. Unfortunately, as all local examples of these vans are used imports, this recall does not extend to New Zealand. While the warning message on the instrument cluster may sound scary, there is a relatively simple fix for this fault. So let's take a look in more detail. The Japanese recall notice lists the issue as a faulty cable bush. The recommended process for fixing this fault is to replace the bush with an upgraded part. The replacement part we'll be using today is available from our online store at evsenhanced.com. While Nissan's recommended process does address the issue at least in the short term, it does not seem to address the root cause of the problem. In our experience we have found that the braided cable in question twists over time, causing excessive wear of the cable bush. So during our repair we will realign this cable to prevent further wear. For this we will be using a few basic tools. A small flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a trim removal tool, channel lock pliers and finally an adjustable wrench. Following best practice, with the ignition on but not in ready mode, we will disconnect the 12 volt battery. To check our shifter linkage, let's lift the shifter surround with our trim removal tool and disconnect all the connectors underneath. Looking down the side of the shifter, we can now see the cable assembly has come away due to the cable twisting and the bush failing. With that confirmed, we can now pull the switch panel out and disconnect the switches. Now we can access the two Phillips screws holding the lower panel in place. You'll also need to remove the two retaining clips located on either side of the lower console panel. Next we need to lift the small lid off the storage panel to access another Phillips screw. We can then lift the storage panel out. This allows us to unclip the lower console panel to disconnect the power supply sockets and then lift it out of the way. Here on the floor we have found the remains of the failed cable bush. In order to realign our shifter cable and install our cable bush we unclip the cable from the shifter assembly by pulling it like so. In this shot you will notice the twisted cable resulting in our failed cable bush. We can realign this by gently twisting the cable bush eyelet to the correct position indicated in the following image. Next we will apply a small amount of rubber grease to the new cable bush and fit it into place.
Slide the cable bush onto the shifter linkage and clip the cable back into place. We can now refit all the interior trims, making sure to plug all connectors back in. Finally, we can reconnect the 12 volt battery. With a quick refresh of Leaf Spy Pro, we can see the fault codes are no longer present. Due to the common nature of this fault and the recall notice issued in Japan, we highly recommend all owners of these vans to get their vehicles checked. This simple inspection will help prevent many ENV200 owners from being stuck on the side of the road. So thanks for watching, and for more information you can find us on Facebook, YouTube or at our home on the web evsenhance.com.